If you buy your new iPhone at a phone store such as AT&T or Verizon, one of their employees, you know, they typically help you set the phone up. But did you know if you order your iPhone and have it delivered to your home, you can set it up yourself? It's not that hard. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Hi. My name is Rich and I make simple, easy to follow videos on how to get the most out of your iPhone and iPad. I try to keep these videos short and to the point. If that sounds like something that might help you, please consider subscribing. It's easy and, you know, it's free. Today I'm going to set up my new iPhone 14 Plus. There are a number of steps, but stick with me. They're all easy and the iPhone walks you through each one. This whole process typically takes less than 10 minutes. But before you fire up your new iPhone, here's what you need to get started. Your Wi-Fi username and password. Now, if you don't have access to Wi-Fi, you can continue, but there's some things that you just can't complete until you connect to Wi-Fi. And it's much easier to set up when you are connected to the internet. So if you do have an internet connection, by all means, get your Wi-Fi username and password and have it ready to go. You also need your Apple ID and password. Now, if you don't have an Apple ID and password, you can set one up during this process, so don't worry about that. All right, let's jump in. All right, when you get your new iPhone, first thing you do is press the side button and start it up. And this is the screen you're gonna get. You're gonna be welcomed with a hello. First thing you do is just swipe up from the bottom and you're gonna choose your language. In this case, I'm gonna choose English. Then you set your country or region and they're all in here. I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna choose that. Now, with Quick Start, you can set up your iPhone if you have all of your settings on another iPad or even another iPhone. But for today's purposes, I'm gonna show you how to set this up manually. And to be honest with you, I like to set up my iPhones manually because I just get rid of all that crud that I had on the old iPhone where I just kept loading it up with stuff. So setting it up manually seems to just feel cleaner. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to tap on set up manually. And here I'm going to choose my Wi-Fi network. And I'll type in my password. And it'll take a second and connect to Wi-Fi. This is an information piece on data and privacy. You can just tap continue. You can read this if you want, but you can just tap continue. And now it's going to ask you to set up Face ID, and I'm going to do that. I'm not going to set it up later. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to hit get started. Then I'm going to hold it this way. And my face scan is complete. And now it's going to ask me, do I want to use Face ID with a mask? You can set that up if you want. I'm not going to. I have so many masks from the pandemic. They're in my cars. My wife has them all over the place. If I had my way, I'd start a bonfire with the masks if I could. But they helped me and they helped keep all my family safe. But I'm not going to set up the Face ID with a mask. I'm going to keep a positive attitude. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to tap Don't Use Face ID with Mask. And now it says Face ID is set up. Hit continue. And here you can create a passcode and you have an option of a six digit passcode or a four digit passcode. I'm gonna choose a four digit passcode. And it's gonna say this passcode can easily be guessed and it can, but I don't care. I'm gonna put use anyway and do it again. and now it's accepted it. So now I'm at a point where we're talking about the apps and the data that goes on the phone. You can restore from an iCloud backup if you have everything from your old phone stored uh, in iCloud, but if this is your first iPhone, you're not gonna have anything like that. Um, you can restore from a Mac or PC if you have a computer. You can transfer directly from an iPhone if you have your old iPhone, you can just hold it near there and get it set up. 
You can also move data from an Android phone, but what we're going to do today is we're just going to click Don't Transfer Apps and Data because, again, I'm wanting to set this up manually. So I'm going to tap Don't Transfer Apps and Data. And now I'm going to enter my Apple ID. Now, if I didn't have an Apple ID, I could tap on Forgot Password or Don't Have an Apple ID. And if you tap on that, it'll allow you to either figure out and learn what your password is if you do have an Apple ID and you forgot your password or it will allow you to set up a brand new Apple ID account. So for now I'm going to use my Apple ID. And then I tap next and now it's going to ask for my password. And now I have two-factor authentication set up. And in this case, what it's saying is, hey, somebody's trying to log into your account. You need to approve that. And in my case, I have my iPad that's set up to go. And it's going to say, do you want me to allow uh, Rich Boland to sign in? And I'm going to click allow. And now it's giving me a code that I need to enter. And so I'm going to enter that. And then I'm going to wait. And now it's going to set up my Apple ID account on my phone. And I'm going to click agree. And now this takes a couple of minutes, so I'll just sort of fast forward through this. Okay, it asked me, do I want to make this my new iPhone? I'm going to click continue. I'm going to set up cellular. And in this case, I, I, I have chosen to use Mint Mobile. I've never used them before. I've always used AT&T, but I wanted to try something different. So here... It says transfer from nearby phone or use QR code. I'm going to tap use QR code and then I'm going to scan this QR code that I have right there. And I'm going to click continue to, to activate the SIM. And now my setup is complete. I click continue. I'm going to set up Apple Cash. This is if you have any debit cards or credit cards. In this case, I have an Apple card and it's set it up. And I will enter my debit card information. Now keep in mind, you may not have uh, any debit cards or credit cards associated with your Apple ID. That won't show up if you don't have anything there. But since I already had those associated with my Apple ID that I'm using on this phone, it shows up and allows me to set them up. So I click Next. I'm not going to improve Siri and dictation right now. I'll mess with that later. I click on Not Now. Emergency SOS. I'm going to click continue. And now it says welcome to iPhone and swipe up. I'm already getting texts on it. Um, wallet I'll allow while using the app. And you'll get a few pop-up screens like that. But that's it. That's the whole setup. And we did it in just a few minutes. So that's all there is to it. I know there are a number of steps, but if you just follow the on-screen instructions, you'll be up and running in no time. And you can always watch this video a couple of times before you start setting up your new iPhone, if that would be helpful. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.